good morning. It's Friday the 9th of February. It's 6.40 in the morning and this is the second of 53 consecutive five mile walks. The same walk from Gresca Disaster Memorial to Miners Rescue Station and back again. Once again, thank you for all your donations to date. The 700 pound milestone is now in touching distance. And this morning I've stood over the A483, the main trunk road that bypasses Wrexham. I've stopped here because, at least when it's daylight, it provides a good vantage of the hills and villages to the south and west of Wrexham. Moving from south to west to north, villages such as Bersham, Esclusion, Ruabham, Minera, Pentebroughton, Frood and Fly. Due to the sheer scale of the tragedy of Gresford, the minor disasters that struck the villages just mentioned can get overlooked. But between 1840 and 1924, 123 miners were killed in 13 separate tragedies, and this was just the tip of the iceberg. The death toll from all Welsh mining disasters that took five or more lives accounts for just 17% of all mining deaths in Wales. It's estimated that 42,000 Welsh miners lost their lives to workplace accidents or mining-related illness. My own tie, Jack Edwards, a miner from South Sea, died of emphysema when I was just nine. The only memories I have of him are sat in an armchair, pale and gaunt, with an oxygen bottle and mask always at his side. But while this dive into history will inevitably be skewed towards poignancy, there must always be room for hope, optimism and humour. Consequently, I give you the resurrection of John Evans. The year's 1819 and a flooded mine at Pendrelbron Colliery in Code Pope has left three miners trapped. Sadly, after eight days, two bodies are recovered and all hope of recovering the third body, Mr. John Evans, is abandoned. Despite John Evans being given up for dead, a coffin is nonetheless prepared. After 12 days, however, two miners hear a voice calling out. It was indeed John Evans who'd survived by eating candles and drinking dripping water. But what of that coffin that lay empty? It didn't go to waste. John Evans took it home and used it as a cupboard. It's a true story. Today's song, of course, in memory of John Evans, is I Am The Resurrection by The Stone Roses. The second walk has now been completed and daylight has come up on a drizzly grey day, but damn sight warmer than yesterday. This walk was dedicated to Thomas Archibald, David Baines, Maldwin O. Bateman, Edward W. Bather and Edward Beddows.